Hi, my name is Lou Kleppinger. I'm a fellow Waldenstrom's patient. I became a support group leader because I'm very passionate about giving back to my doctors who treated me so successfully. And I also want to give hope to my fellow Waldenstromers because it is a devastating diagnosis, but there is so much hope to be found. Uh, as a patient, I was highly symptomatic when I began. I had daily nosebleeds. I had night sweats as if I jumped into a swimming pool three times a night, fatigue, weight loss, uh, severe leg cramps, 70% bone marrow burden. I, when I was diagnosed, I started treatment one week later on my 30th wedding anniversary, and I went for 18 months with 50 infusions, and it was traumatic. But I'm here today because I want to bring hope to you listening into our IWMF website. I am today symptom free. I have an IgM of 203, which is normal. And I'm living a normal life <clears throat> and joyful about it. And I want you to feel hopeful because I've had success and you have every chance of having success as well. So my thought to you is uh, to be hopeful and um, I wish you good health and hope. As a support group leader, I'm inspired by my patients. I have two messages that I like to offer them. And I must first say I'm not a doctor or a medical professional and therefore I'm not allowed to give medical advice. However, I can speak as a fellow patient and I want to give you hope. First, my message is to be your own best health advocate. Waldenstrom's is so rare that often the doctor hasn't seen you, uh, seen a patient like you. And uh, so I invite you to learn as much as you can. Use the IWMF website. It's extensive information will teach you a great deal and become sophisticated. Also, write down questions when you see your doctor and record them. If you're able, take a friend or a family member with you to your doctor, especially when you're first diagnosed because the information can be overwhelming and of course a cancer diagnosis can be very devastating. Also, uh, follow your lab results and record them and do everything you can to be knowledgeable about your disease. Finally, don't ignore symptoms that are new and you don't know about because this could be a complication and it's critical that you get help right away. Secondly, I invite you to get a second opinion from a Wallenstrom's patient. So many of us have local oncologists who have never seen a Wallenstrom's patient. And so for me, it was life-saving to go to a, a specialist. And I've seen in my own support group other members who also have had very successful response by getting a second opinion. If you're not able to travel yourself to see a specialist, have your local oncologist contact one. Uh, there's a list on the IWMF website of approved doctors who are knowledgeable and who can work with you. And don't be shy about asking your doctor uh, or in telling them that you want a second opinion. They expect this. My doctor was very responsive to my specialist. He followed to the letter the recommendations and it turned out to be a very good collaborative process. Though a rare disease, you need not be alone. Now that you have found the IWMF, become active. We have a wealth of information available on our website. It's extensive and, and you will learn a great deal. Also, get active by becoming a support group member and take advantage of Lifeline where you can talk individually to fellow patients about your very specific situation. Waldenstrom's has a, has a very different response to each patient and it gives you a chance to learn more. So I invite you to join our Parade of Hope and become active as your own healthcare advocate and I wish you peace and good health.